Well, it's no secret that restaurants have been particularly hard hit by the shutdowns caused by the coronavirus. Business owners have been hard pressed to pay their bills and employees at the same time. One Lexington restaurant has figured out a way to not only help themselves, but other restaurants as well, all while feeding people in need. LEX 18's Claire Crouch has more on tonight's The Rebound, Kentucky. When the shutdown happened, East End Tap and Table on Main Street had only been open for a few months. You know, right. so you're already pushing it, and then for this to happen is crazy. At the time, owners Betsy and Matt Borland were only doing about 10% of their sales in to-go orders and hadn't yet developed an online ordering system. So the learning curve to adapt was especially steep. Probably the most difficult thing is not knowing what tomorrow is going to bring. But thanks to loyal customers and doing business through their built-in walk-up window, they've kept the lights on and been able to keep most of their staff. So now they're switching their vision from not only helping themselves, but helping others as well. We just kind of formed this idea of, um, you know, how can we get donations, pay our bills, but then also involve other restaurants where we could purchase from them and then give them some business. That idea is called East End Feeds. Through donations, the campaign has provided 300 meals to the well of Lexington and 900 meals to frontline workers at CHI St. Joseph Health. The way it works, people donate. Once East End meets the threshold for how much they need to pay their bills, they take leftover donations and buy meals from other restaurants. Already, they've purchased 100 meals from Oscar Diggs, also donated to the well. Instead of it being everyone's donating, 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 we're purchasing it from them so they get the business, mm -hmm. um, that restaurant, and then, you know, people get fed. The more money donated, the more mouths that are fed, and hopefully the more restaurants they can involve in their campaign. And I feel like Lexington is such a community um, that we're a part of now, mm -hmm. and it's awesome, and I just want us all to stay in business, you know, if we can. The Borlands say it will still be crucial to receive assistance from the government in order to really make it, but this program is helping them keep afloat, a way to make money and make a difference at the same time, trying to ensure everyone comes out on the other side. In Lexington, Claire Crouch, LEX 18 News. If you're interested in donating to the East End Feeds program, you can do so through Venmo or directly at the restaurant. We have all the details at lex18.com.com slash rebound. Plus tons of helpful stories and links to help you get back on your feet. There are sections for those of you looking for tips about how to get back to work and making ends meet, managing the pressure and stress you're feeling, and doing what's right to help your community. We've also posted several helpful links on the right side of the page, including to Kentucky's unemployment site and drive through testing information. Again, that website is lex18.com rebound.